Hello everyone, I'm Jay Wang, we're going to be here to be an Our Game Coach, an interactive tool for user-centered algorithmic records. So as we all have known, machine learning has been increasingly used in high-stakes domains, such as finance, criminal justice, and healthcare. And to promote responsible AI or machine learning, we have seen great strides explained for ML. So researchers have developed many techniques to explain the machine learning predictions to gain users trust. However, those techniques often focus on data scientists, machine learning researchers, practitioners, and domain experts. And the end users who are being impacted by the machine learning systems are often neglected in machine learning ML research. A recent paper also identified those like users as everyday users, so they have limited machine learning background experience, and they have different goals and backgrounds when interacting with machine learning systems. And there are some researchers also categorize some different goals when we're trying to explain ML to everyday users, such as building trust, also allowing them to contest some unfair or wrong decisions made by machine learning systems, and also to provide recourse. And in this talk, I will focus on recourse. So what is algorithmic recourse? So the research developed, uh, defined it as a way to provide end users with different means to alter unfavorable machine learning decisions. To give a more concrete example, let's think about a loan scenario. So imagine a loan applicant trying to apply for a loan in a bank, and the bank uses a machine learning model to make the prediction. And unfortunately, the applicant was rejected. And to help the user or the applicant to gain better understanding, also to alter the unfavorable machine decisions, the bank told the applicant, if your income were 50k higher, your application would be approved. So here, this statement is a counterfactual explanation, so it has a form of what if the input is some different values, and maybe the outcome prediction would be changed. So, by, um, so it's very popular to provide those counterfactual explanations as a way to provide algorithmic recourse. However, not all records are equal. Some records are very hard or even impossible to achieve. For example, in this case, maybe increasing the income by 50k is impossible for these applicants. And to help users to gain more helpful records plans, recently, research focused on more actionable algorithmic records. So researchers propose different techniques, such as minimizing the feature changes, prioritize high variant features, or maybe provide multiple plans to achieve actionable records plans. However, those researchers assume that developers know what constitutes actionability for all end users. And in practice, that is not true. For example, we can think actionability is personal and subjective. For example, for some applicants, maybe they're okay with a smaller loan amount. Um, but for some other applicants, maybe they're not. And some applicants, maybe they cannot change their whole ownership overnight. And maybe for some applicants, it's easier for, for them to boost their FICO score. So you can see the actionability is very personal and it varies from user to users. And there is a dire need to have a new system to provide tailored or personalized records to different end users. To achieve that goal, we present Gang Coach, the first of its kind interactive tool to help end users obtain their AI decisions and to customize those records plans. So with Gang Coach, we enable a new recourse paradigm where users can provide their feedback and the bank or the other agency can provide new recourse plans based on their preferences. For example, in the same scenario here, maybe the applicants can tell the bank maybe the, plan, um, the recourse plan is too hard and they're actually okay with a smaller loan amount. Then the bank will update the recourse plan and find an alternative recourse plan using the easier to change feature, for example, lowering the loan amount by 5k. And in this case, the applicant will be very happy with that recourse plan and we will apply again in the future. And to achieve this goal, again, coach, we focus on our um, on a model called generalized additive model or GAN model. So this is a glass box model, so it's very transparent. So we have 100% uh, certainty of what's going on inside the model. So we know how the model makes predictions. And the model is very popular in high stakes domains because it's a transparent model. And we develop a new uh, novel uh, recourse algorithm using integer linear program. So for more detail, please check out the paper. But by having this like uh, integer linear program, we can like model the preference user preferences as the linear constraints. And with a modern linear solvers, we can quickly solve the linear program to give the optimal recourse algorithm, uh, to give the optimal recourse plan or the counterfactual explanation for GAN models. And also with our algorithm, we can provide diverse solutions. However, for end users, by having algorithm, this is not good enough. They still need to have an easy-to-use interface to provide their feedback and also to, for the developer to communicate those request plans to end users. To that end, we designed developer GAN Coach, a user interface, like first of interactive realization system, to help users to obtain their design AI decisions. And our tool is open source, and we have a demo, so you can try to try our demo by visiting the link in the screen. So right now, I will give a demo of our tool. So again, Coach is a web-based interactive tool user can access from their browsers. So in this demo, we use a loan scenario. So we have different input features to really give a loan approval or rejection. And here's an example of how we can, again, Coach can suggest a rejected loan by applicants, change their input feature to get a loan approval. So in the web sections, in the first section, we have some different features that have already been changed by GANCoach using the default configurations. You can also hover over to see some different features. Here are the feature with some specified preferences. Here are all the default preferences. And here are the other features. You can also click different tabs to see different plans. By default, you can code generate five default plans. You can hover over to see the prediction score until the threshold to getting a loan approval, which is 0.5 in this case. You can also click the card, uh, feature card, to see more details about different features. For content this feature, we also visualize the value distribution for all the user entering data set. So here the green means like the change, the suggested changes. User can click, drag around the thumb to see how some hypothetical value changes the model prediction. 
So one of the major features for Gamecoach code is to help users provide user input or their preferences. So imagine one user, they cannot change their loan amount, but they are okay to easily increase their faculty score up to 750. So to do that, we can tell Gamecoach code to not to change the loan amount by clicking on the lock button, so new plans will not consider loan amount. And for faculty score, we can drag around to change the acceptable range to 750, and also change difficulty to easy to change. So the new plan will prioritize the faculty scores. Optionally, you can also change how many features that a new plan can change. Here we change the uh, number of features to two. So after user click the regenerate button, so you can call regenerate new plans according to those specified uh, preferences. So here you can browse different plans by clicking the tabs. And for example, this one only use faculty score, which works a very good plan. So we can bookmark that plan by clicking the start button. So this plan is saved into our bookmarks. So this is about continuous features, as also see some other categorical features. For example, home ownership. So this category feature, you can also click the name to see how different categories change the prediction of the model. So imagine the user, maybe their family is buying a condo next month, maybe they can change the status of their input features. So maybe we can change to prompt the game codes to use home ownership as a feature to change in the request plans. So we can click to change to a separate range and also it's easy to change. Then again, similarly, you can also click the regenerate button to new plans with those new preferences. You can also browse the new plans by clicking the tab button from plan 11 to plan 15. And sure enough, in plan 12, we can see how ownership is changed by game coach. So this is a good plan, so we can also start that plan to save it into our bookmark, uh, bookmark panel. And here's some researchers, interesting, some researchers have some idea of like the receipt for counterfactual explanation for records, so the bank can guarantee maybe a loan approval if they achieve those request plans. So we also uh, implement like the receipt using a verifiable algorithm. So we use like PGP signature to make our receipt verifiable. For learn more details, please refer to our paper. After developing Gun Coach, we want to use that as a research instrument to learn how everyday user would use the interactive request tool. So we conducted a user study with 41 participants where we from Amazon Mechanic Turks. So similar to the demo with a loan application scenario, we have the participants pretend to be different rejected loan applicants and let them freely explore the game coach until finding a satisfactory plan. So they can change the default plan so they would not force them to use the configurations or any preferences. And then we during the study, we lock all the interactions, like which button they click and which timestamp, and also so we have a survey at the end of the study. So by analyzing the usage log and survey responses, we want to answer three research questions. So first, we want to study the characteristics of different good request plans. Our findings validate many hypotheses from the existing request researchers. For example, we found participants that prefer action for features. For example, some maybe it's easier for FICO to change FICO scores of employment lens, so a lot more participants to choose FICO scores. And also participants prefer smaller changes. And also found the users that prefer beneficial plans that are beneficial beyond the request goals. So for example, one participant wrote, lower utilization is good for me anyway for what I know, so this seems like the best plan. And next, we want to discover the path, we want to study the path to discover good plans. So recall in can code, user can change the difficulty of features of a separate range of different features. So we found the majority of participants, they use the customizations. So found customization really can help them find good request plans. And we also find among those like the configurations, people have very, very different preferences. For example, in this chart plot, we visualize the top seven frequent difficulty configurations. We found some features are more popular, for example, long months more popular to add some preferences than other features. And but even on those popular features, people have different preferences. For example, for the features it's impossible to change the long amount, but for other participants, also it's very easy to change the long amount. Then we want to study like, the role of interactivity in records. So in general, we found that interaction helps prioritization. For example, one participant mentioned, I like how easy it was to make changes to priority of different things. And if only in GameCode, user can ask what if questions to see the effects of changing one particular feature to the model prediction. We, by analyzing the logs, we found actually by asking what if questions, the person is more likely to optimize that feature, which is statistically significant. And also, it's more likely to, for them to choose the satisfactory plans using the feature they have asked what if question on, even though it's not significant on that second finding. Third, like in deploying the model in our user study, so some features are not monotonically increasing or decreasing, so there can be some conservative plans. For example, on some features, maybe the likelihood of getting a loan increase a little bit, then decrease, then increase, then decrease. So there is some weird hiccup during the request plans, and we ask participants to report those counterintuitive plans. And many participants reported, for example, the participant find one plan told me to increase the loan amount by $13, while other plan told me to decrease by $1,600. So there is some weird behavior uh, for the request plans. So the findings also tell us that it's important to vet and fix the models before deploying those models real life. Otherwise, participants can be puzzled by these request plans, and also there are some hacks to game the system to get a loan approval by only increasing your loan amount by $13. Finally, we discuss the limitation and future work for Get Coach. First, our method and study can definitely be improved. For example, the researcher can generate our methods to different model types and also incorporate causality when generating new request plans. We also encourage your users, well, researchers to engage with real users to see how do they use interactive tool or request tool in real life. And some might argue that our tool has too much transparency that the user might game the system. We acknowledge those concerns, we do see there's a tension between decision makers and decision subjects, and if the researchers can study what's the right amount of transparency to benefit both parties. 
And also, I want to emphasize the need for user-centered records. As we all have seen from this talk, the users' like, preferences for records really vary from one to another. So it's very important to provide user-centered records. So if your user can think about all the mentality for those tools, maybe using a chatbot to provide interactive records, maybe user can predict the user preferences. So there are a lot of research opportunities in this area. And that concludes my talk. To learn more about GenCode, please read our papers and also visit our demo using the link in the site. Thank you so much.